good morning i am devasena in this lecture we are going to discuss about berkeley mode in wireless sensor networks berkeley mode in wireless sensor network the berkeley modes are a family of embedded sensor nodes sharing roughly the same architecture as that of mica mode modes are tiny self contained battery powered computers with radio links which enable them to communicate and exchange data with one another and to self organize into ad hoc network berkeley mode consists of microcontroller with internal flash program memory data sram data ee prom a set of actuator and sensor devices including leds a low power transceiver an analog photo sensor a digital temperature sensor a serial port a small coprocessor unit let us see the hardware platform of berkeley mode one by one the processing unit the sensing unit the transceiver unit the other auxiliary components software platform let us see the processing unit of the berkeley mode it comprises of atmel 90 ls 8535 an 8 bit architecture with 16 bit address it provides 32 8 bit general registers and runs at 4 megahertz and 3 volts it has 8 kb flash as the program memory and 512 bytes of sram as the data memory microcontroller unit is designed such that the processor cannot write to instruction memory the prototype uses a coprocessor to perform this function the processor integrates a set of timers and counters which can be configured to generate interrupts at regular time intervals now we see the sensing unit of the berkeley mode The sensing unit contains two sub components that is photo sensor and temperature sensor. Photo sensor represents an analog input device with simple control lines which eliminate power drain through the photo transistor when not in use. The temperature sensor that is analog device ad 7418 represents a large class of digital sensors which have internal ad converters and interface over a standard chip to chip protocol now we discuss the transceiver unit the transceiver unit consists of an rf monolithics 916.5 megahertz transceiver antenna and a collection of discrete components to configure the physical layer characteristics such as signal strength and sensitivity the transceiver unit operates in an on off key mode at speeds up to 19.2 kbps the control signal configure the radio to operate in either transmit receive or power off mode the radio contains no buffering so each bit must be serviced by the controller on time the transmitted value is not latched by the radio so the jitter at the radio input is propagated into the transmission signal 
The transceiver unit is an energizer lithium battery rated at 575 milliamps per hour. The other axillary components include the coprocessor that represents a synchronous bit level device with byte level support. Then the serial port that represents a synchronous bit level device with the byte level controller support that uses IO pins that are connected to an internal UART controller. Then three LEDs that represent outputs connected through general IO ports. They may be used to display digital values or status. Now we discuss the software platform of the Berkeley mode. Based on tiny micro threading operating system that is tiny OS, which is designed for resource constrained MEMS sensors. Tiny OS adapts an event model so that high levels of concurrency can be handled in a small amount of space. A stack based threaded approach would require that stack space be reserved for each execution context. A complete system configuration consists of a tiny scheduler and a graph of components. A component has four interrelated parts. They are a set of command handlers, a set of event handlers, an encapsulated fixed size frame, bundle of simple tasks, tasks, commands and event handlers execute in the context of the frame and operate on its state. Each component declares the commands it uses and the events it signals. These declarations are used to compose the modular components in a per application configuration. The composition process creates layer of components where high level components issue commands to low level lower level components and lower level component signal events to the higher level components thank you very much for listening this lecture if you like this lecture means kindly share this video to your friends for further updates kindly subscribe my channel thank you